Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Uh, welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today we are playing the Executioner in a build that is inspired by one of you. So uh, one of you said I should really play the Executioner with six medium pulse lasers and four ear medium lasers. Now, what did I do? I put the medium pulse laser in the arm for more targeting mobility. I have uh, three ear mediums in the right torso and one of them in the in the arm as well. So this is a complete right side build. I can shield with the left side no problem at all if you wanted you could go for the medium laser in the other torso here so you have the rather high mounts filled up as you can see torso mounts are relatively high here then you can poke with it but you you know what i want to uh, peek horizontally i want to quickly use my mask push out of cover just shoot everything i have on, on that side and then i want to go back to cover and cool down again so that's that's the, the idea of the build and of course again the left side is the shield side it is filled with double heatsink we've got plenty of them 15 actually so it is 25 in general and uh, yeah it's a rather cold build with a good amount of damage actually 70 um, but 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 if you want to avoid ghost heat stagger your shots so six medium poles or medium lasers at the same time is what you can do without ghost heat and that's what i'm doing i basically shoot my mediums separated from the medium pulses here the skills look like this we have uh, the classic laser vomit build, it is the laser duration down here and I'm going for the additional heat gen nodes in, in the left and right arm here. We also get a little bit of range and cooldown out of that and um, I really really like that. Um, I am running armor here because um, it is a mid to close range build and at some point you will take some beating and take some return fire. It doesn't do too much for our executioner here, um, actually it is actually only benefiting um, the, the left torso, that is where armor quirks are sitting in and you get some, some benefits out of it but the right side it's only five points in the arm and six points in the side torso and this is where where it really matters but again five and six points it's um you know a little bit more than you would have naturally and if you shield well you can absorb a lot of damage with that left torso here um the rest is just a little bit of kinetic burst heartbreak and torso speed uh you do not really need lower um lower torso mobility because you have mask so your acceleration is great your deceleration is great if you hit the mass button and you get a burst of speed which brings you to I believe 84 kph so uh, speed tweak is not needed I tried to go for a full speed uh, build uh, earlier as you can see but it's actually not needed instead you go for full cool run I even have that one heat containment node down here so it really helps bumping up your general heat threshold and of course we are running 60% radar deprivation and a seismic sensor and a consumable slot that is it everybody that is the build i wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming if you have that don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield all right first game of the day we are playing assault on the frozen city and uh, as you can see enemy teams are just you know sitting up uh, sitting down there and uh, sniping that's the thing um sniping on this map it might feel that it is the right approach, but at the same time, I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Um, look at my rangefinder. This here, this here is 1100 meter. This this guy there is uh, kind of 12 1200 meter. There is no weapon with a 1200 meter optimal range. You will always shoot beyond optimal range. That means you deal no damage. No, not no damage, but only a very little amount of damage. That is not efficient. That is not working. Like okay, you deal damage, sure but it will take forever and I, I, I hate it so much on Frozen City of Soul because the, the whole peak fest is... oh, okay. It is just... Uh, it's not working, guys. You won't deal damage on that range. Only very, very tiny amounts over and over and over again and meanwhile your brawlers sit tight and they cannot do anything but you know clenching their butt cheeks together uh trying not to get hit by the long range dudes um just like i am right now just sitting here can't do anything because of uh this uh this map the, the, it's just a map design like how how did you think <laughs> base being captured great uh how do you think that 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 this is a good idea just having that big big canyon and the two elevated base on the other side. I'm going back to base. Um, we can actually take it super slow since the enemy is camping. New target yeah. acquired. It's just a single light man. I think I got yeah, it's, it's one medium and one light. Alright. We go yeah, ahead and just destroy that Wolverine. Yeah. Wolverine and um, some ECM dude. On the wolf yeah, let's go. Uh, he's trying to retreat. He's trying to run to Fox 7, most likely. Um, Oh wait, oh he's trying to take cover? Okay, kill him. Just get him. Yeah, kill sorry, him. sorry Wolvie. 
but not not today. M not today. Not with us today. Okay, I'm gonna use my mask to get into a, a spot. I do not want to get fire from the other side. But we can do this. Oh, we can do this now. Oh, that's great. Hello, Mr. Wolverine. Go. Rolling, guys. Um, they're still in Akichita, but he's running to the center now. Ooh. But again, see that? I got hit like three times. 1% of damage. 1%. Oh, 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 oh. Assault mech. Let's turn around. And try to get him. Let's engage him. Like, if they are coming in one by one like that, I'll take it. No, no, no regrets. No shame in that. I, I just take it. I want to get over with that real quick. Because I don't like the map in game mode. It's just a combination that is kind of bugging me here. Go for the left side horse. Ah, uh, right side horse, sorry. I always I always got confused by that. Left, right. It's all mirrored. I'm not good at that. I'm not good at like mirror mirror brain stuff. Okay, we got this guy. And I'm not afraid of the fire from the outskirts. Not at all. Look at that, they're not even dealing damage to me. Okay, we got this guy. <sighs> What do you think going for the urban mech? And another one. Urban mech. Um, I got blocked by the Hellbringer. Damn it. I wanted to get a full laser burn to him, but yeah. Sometimes it's just the way. What? My mouse stopped moving? Why? That's by the way how you approach uh, urban mechs. You just shoot off the arms. And they will... Uh, they just die. I think it's time for the out to, pu to push out, right? Oh, they're coming on the right flank now. Yeah, they are. Alright, let's go. Okay. This is a very weird dynamic today. Ugh. Out of range. I was hoping for, like, a point of damage at least, but... Oh, right. Yeah, it's a thousand meters. You guys in Delta 6 move back to Echo 7. Fall back. We're so... The yeah, they, they managed to get a kill on our side. You guys in Delta 6 fall back. I can do this. Delta 6 Charlie 5, pull back guys. Okay. Missiles. Missiles are an issue though. Because yeah, missiles deal, deal optimal damage when they are in range. Like it, uh, they have no optimal or maximum range. They only have range. Either you are in it or you're not. And as a result, I'm a little bit scared of them. Uh, going to the right side here because the mech is extremely good at right side peeking. So you can use your mask for a quick burst of speed and then uh, peek around the corner. Deliver your damage and then get back with them with the mask. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, actually, they're getting some getting some progress here on our team. Get wrecked? Ooh, not quite. Ah, oh, good kill. That was important. Okay, again, more right side peeking. Uh, however, however, I'm scared. I'm scared of those guys coming in. I couldn't. I cannot really see where they are. That was good. I'm pushing right side, Charlie Seven. You follow? I really hope that the team follows here. Okay, going for the Cyclops now. He's a brawler. Let's try to bring him down quickly. Uh, Cyclops center torso, please. And I think we can push out here. But yeah, we got an annihilator pushing forward with 97%. Yes, let's go. Let's go, boys. That, that that guy is gonna be our tank here. It's gonna be our battle buddy. They got the side. Not quite. And afterwards, the mad cat. Cool. Cool shot. Bunny ears. And we keep up the pressure. It is uh, 8 and 6. It's not really decided yet. They can turn it around, actually. Hey guys, I'm here. I'm overheating. Hello, Mr. Madcat. How are you doing, man? So we s yeah, I wanted to say we sweep over his bunny ears from the left to the right. Uh, because um, he was damaged in both of them. It's kind of tough. So, one enemy alive. I believe it was... Ah, it is a, still a sniper? Oh, come on! Wait, how, how and why do you think it is a good idea just staying there? Why? You, 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 should, you should have helped out your team, man. I'm gonna tank him, I'm gonna face tank him, no respect. Absolutely not. Um, but that guy could have could have done some good work closer. 
Like staying there, yes, it is a safer option. Yes, it uh, gets you more damage because you uh, you can just pick your targets. But at the same time, again, I think, I believe he was out of range most of the time. He wasn't in optimal range. He didn't deliver his full damage potential. So that Hellbringer being out of the fight could have lost him the game. Again, it was more or less even in the meantime, in the middle of the fight there. Uh, please don't pull back. Go, go forward. What, what are you waiting for, man? Target. Are you damaged? No, not really. Okay. Let's get in and try to get an angle on the Hellbringer. He's the last enemy, so I can overextend a little bit. Zap. Let's go. Kabam! There we go. Cool. Now that worked out. Um, to be honest, it was a very cold map. The enemy came in one by one. We weren't under heavy pressure here. And um, that means that we could make use of our heat very, very well. So, um, yeah, that damage here, it comes because we, we had the time. We actually had the time. We could take some, some cooldown period, periods and, uh, you know, go in after being at zero heat again. But anyway, we got three kills, eight assists, five kill most damage dealt, 924 damage, six components destroyed. Thank you, enemy team, for giving us that game because, again, you came in one by one. That wasn't a good idea and we reacted to it properly. So, first game over. Let's go over to the next round and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing the Rubelite Oasis. We are playing Assault. And I probably want to go to low ground since we already got enemies down there. Oh, this could be a very, very early kill on the Hellbringer. Uh, let's actually push the guys, guys. Come on, let's go. Forward. And uh, they seem to be super strung out. Let's uh, capitalize on that and get some early kills. That would be great. So again, want to go to low ground. I uh, want to challenge uh, the Mad Cat. That, is, that guy is half dead already. Oh, great job, team. That was good. Going for Foxtrot. Ah, if I can do that. My mouse is acting weirdly lately. Like, you could you could see that in the, in the game before when I was challenging the Urban Mac. That uh, mouse just stopped moving for some reason. Oh, show me your back. Your tasty, tasty back. Uh, gonna pop my Cool Shot here, actually. Just because I want to get as much damage as possible to that arm <coughs> of that Thunderbolt. Anyway, uh, enemy's right side, Echo 7. So maybe we can peek here. This mech is really good at peeking. On the ground. Move, move. Base is being captured. Base is being captured. Uh, can we get a light mech or a medium back to base? Just one. Um, I mean, that's not good. So they are, they are setting us on the timer now. We are on the clock. Uh, that's, that's bad. Okay, I'm gonna help you in Fox 7. I'm coming. Uh, Stormcrow, can you, can you handle it? Like, I'm retracting my assault mech from the front line to help out one of my teammates, which is probably not even necessary. India but let's help him out anyway. Okay. That Stormcrow is basically dead. Nice, okay. Um, I don't want to go back. I mean, I am fast as an assault mech, it's funnily enough, but I, I don't want to go back. Because I'm, I'm, I'm needed on the front here. I got armor, I got massive firepower. Okay, uh, we could actually fight our way back. Huntsman. The Huntsman is very damaged, so it seems. Oh, 25%. Guys, be quick about the kills and then we need to get back. Oh wait, we have already got two guys going back. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for that. Okay, we got that. Wow, this is a very intense game, just because the, the base cap, it sets me under so much pressure right now. And not only me, my whole team, basically. Hello, Nigeria. Okay, we grind through center torso. That's a 1v1 situation that we can actually take. Easy. Um, this guy is a problem. I'm gonna push him back with the laser fire. I want to contribute here. Uh, let's go for... Oh, this guy seems fresh. That Thunderbolt, whatever. We saw him before. Uh, I'm gonna die here. I will overextend it big time. Can we? Could use some help here. Yeah, it's it's all good. It's fine. We got it. <laughs> the second too late. Where is the Highlander? Is the Highlander down? I saw a Highlander here, and he w he seemed to be fresh. And there's no chance that he is down already. Uh, we still got the um, Mauler up there, Lermin. And yeah, the Highlander is in Echo Six, as you can see. He's behind me. Hello, hello. Just pushing the Lerm boat. Yeah. I love the mask. Oh, show me that bag. Show me that tasty, tasty bag. It's not enough. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Hello, Viper. Uh, go for the legs on the Viper. Can we get an angle? 
Oh, he stopped moving there. And one more. Down it goes! Nice defense here, guys. Um, so we sent back two mechs for base defense. Thank you for that. Uh, it was actually one of our assault mechs. I believe the Mad Cat 2 went back. I think it wasn't really needed, but uh, in general, the game escalated pretty, pretty hard. We capitalized on a very early kill on the Mad Cat 2, on the enemy one, and um, as a result, it spiraled down from there. Um, they came, uh, came in one by one. It is, again, a, a matter of uh, spread teams and such that uh, just got us that, that easy, easy win. We got two killing blows. We got four assists, one kill, most damage dealt, 635 damage, and two components destroyed. That is your daily dose, everybody. That was the executioner with the medium lasers and the medium pulse lasers i hope you liked it and if you did don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you want to support me and get some fancy rewards for it go down below to the description here is the link to my patreon page and i hope to see you on the battlefield goodbye